guys all right well it is saturday at 8 18 in the morning just woke up a little while ago starting the morning routine so i've been in the camper now for almost a full week almost um came out here last sunday and I've been doing honestly it's not that bad it's really not um, I'm sure it'll get cold come winter but <laughs> we're working on that um, I've got it cleaned up quite a bit <coughs> been doing a lot of soul searching we'll say and get it in my head I even talk to a counselor yeah don't talk to a counselor I think they have online counselors <sighs> but yeah so let me give you a tour of what we got going on so far uh, I'll flip the camera around and make it a little easier so you guys don't have to stare at my ugly mug the whole time I did just wake up all right so up here above the bunk Got my TV. It's just basically open storage now. I'm actually thinking about uh, building like an entertainment center for up there. So I can put my PlayStation up there and DVD. Well, yeah, I don't really need a DVD player. I mean, I could, but I mean, the PlayStation works. But I do have a Fire Stick, so that's what's running right now. Um. That's the storage for like my blankets, my pillows, and whatnot. Then that little white tote I bring over next to my chair when I go to bed at night, and that holds like cigarettes, lighters, all the stuff I'm going to need to grab in the morning for work. These festive little LED lights that Breck bought. Of course, she left me. Just nice enough to leave them in here for me. They actually work really good. They actually make a nice mood lighting. They're a little bit too blue because they're the things, but it's not bad. Um, my chair. Don't mind the pillows. I'm watching pillowcases today. Um, clean the walls up a little bit. I got a. I think I'm gonna repaint them because the Clorox didn't take the stuff off very well. Gotta wash the windows. Got a picture Brett gave me for well it was a plaque Brett gave me after Mater died. And I threw two of her pictures up on there just because <sighs> I still love her. Love her with all my heart. Yeah that's what we got going there. Those wires and that thing's got to stay there because we don't know what the hell they're hooked up to. They're hooked up to the pump, the water level gauge, the tank, and everything else. But I don't want to start cutting wires and next thing I'll have shorts kicking around everywhere. That light doesn't work. Um, then we'll get Reflectix for that window. Reflectix for that window. Um, I'm going to see if I can find some new molding. Replace this because I got gaps around the top of it. The door is bent too, which doesn't help. Um, Moving to the kitchen area. So I ripped out the refrigerator that was in here. Well, dorm refrigerator. Uh, I'm going to have to put some insulation around the back of it and then. Uh, of course, I can't turn that thing on. I don't know if you're going to see that. Oh yeah, you can definitely see up there. I gotta cover that vent up and block it off. I'll keep out a lot of the cold. Um, come over to the kitchen section itself. Got my microwave. I have a toaster oven for now. Uh, one of those new wave hot plate things. Um, let's see. All this down here, I still haven't decided what I'm doing. I know I gotta clean out the drawer and I gotta clean out the top of the 
cooktop, which I'm not going to use. I actually found a camp camp oven. It's basically a little bit bigger than that thingy. It's an oven, and it's got burners on the top. Runs off propane. Good deal. Uh, food. I just got the refrigerator in, so that's not. That doesn't have anything in it. My first little stove. Just some storage for now. More storage and cleaning supplies. That's gotta go. I gotta clean all that crap out. Clean her off. Medicine cabinet. So the plan is to get some reflectix, put the reflectix on the windows over here, down here, this one over here. Um, again, I'm going to get some plywood, board that off, and then, still debating what I'm going to do on the ceiling. I might do some reflectix up there. Um, I'm going to start with today, I'm going to do a shopping list and figure out how far I get. But yeah, oh yeah and then, you're not really going to be able to see it too well, but I got one of those inside-outside weather station things. I got to get some power strips and run some cords better, but yeah, honestly, after the first week, it's not bad. Um, I like it cold in the first place, so that kind of works. Well, let me flip this back around. So I like it cold in the first place, so that doesn't really, hasn't been too bad. I've had to kick the electric fireplace on. I think I put on about 69 at night. Keeps it pretty, pretty nice in here. Um, oh, and that window in the very back, I got to put Reflectix over. Well, like I said, I'm going to get some old blankets. I'm going to do a Caro heater. Uh, my goal for today is actually... I'll clean up a little bit more on the floor. And I'm going to give Molly a bath and I'm going to bring Molly out here, I think. I think that's the plan for today. Now, I can't leave her out here all the time. Uh, especially with winter coming. And with summer because it's going to get hot as shit in here. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to take her out here at night. Take her out in the morning so she can go to the back. Like I said, during the day, she's going to be going upstairs. Well, I'm at work and she's going in the kennel because when it gets cold in here, I'm not going to leave the kerosene heater running all the time. Um, so, it's going to get cold during winter. It actually might not, but I'm going to leave the fireplace on. I also... Still really debating on those cheap giant uh, Chinese diesel heaters. Really am. So if I did that, I could technically leave it on all the time and she could stay out here all the time. But I really don't have room out here for a kennel. And she's kennel trained for during the day and stuff, so... If I do a kennel out here, I'm not going to have anywhere to put I don't have anywhere to put a heater. i got to figure out where I'm going to put the heater. Because <sighs> the first place was where my chair was. That was going. That, that was alright. Because I was going to put my chair where the table was. But then the table doesn't work because I forgot it doesn't drop all the way to the floor. So I had to take out the thing where I was going to put the heater originally. Um, then I was thinking... I could put it in the back where the toilet is. If I kind of want to get a composting toilet to put where that is. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a slow process. I'm, I, I'm working through ideas in my head. And I was like, where can I do this? Where can I do that? Because wherever I put the heater, I got to make sure Molly's safe and she doesn't get burnt off it. That's my main goal. I don't want to burn my puppy. 
Um, yeah. So that's where we're at for today. I gotta go shopping. Oh, yeah, I'll show you the inside of the refrigerator. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'll show y'all the inside of the refrigerator. Got the freezer. I literally just plugged it in and I had to put a uh, piece of plywood underneath it because it wasn't sitting even. So I just plugged it in. <coughs> I've been trying not to have too much stuff running in here because we don't have power back into the garage yet. So it's still running off an extension cord. I don't want to overload things. But uh, when we put the power back on, we're going to run just a breaker just for over here. <clears throat> so I'll be on my own, like, full delivery, and I can run whatever I want, and not have to worry about it. A couple soft spots on the floor. I'm going to put some, like, sheet metal down or something, just for now. i got to find some better rugs, because the bath mats I bought, eh, they work, but they, they're not perfect. It's weird, because the floor is, like, weird shaped. I don't know if you can see it. So i got to figure out, I measured it all out, and... I just have to buy carpet and cut it. I'm gonna have to cut carpet and ears. But yeah, that's where we're at. Honestly, sleeping in here is not bad. Um, it's helped to distance myself a little bit. Like, away from the house, just because I'm getting into my own zone again. You gotta understand, I was always, I was always on my own for the most part when I was younger. I mean, I had roommates and stuff. I had living with me at the house for a while, but I always just did my own thing and did what I wanted when I wanted. And to be honest, I forgot how to do that, so it's like I'm learning again. Yeah, that's, that's for the camper update. Um. Yeah, that's what I got going on. Today, like I said, I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to get some more toads. I got to get my clothes down here. I still haven't got my clothes down here. I still got a mouse running around, too. He hasn't gone into that of a heart trap. I'm trying to be nice about this, Mr. Mouse. I really am. But it might get to the point where I'm not being nice to Mr. Mouse anymore. And I'll just get a snap trap. But, yeah, that's what we got going on. Thank you guys for watching.